up, y'all? We are back with another video. Today, we got some Terrifier 3 stuff I want to talk about. Before we get into it, definitely smash the like button. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps. So, to get into this, we got Terrifier 3 approaching us here very, very soon. This is one of my most anticipated horror movies of 2024. And we've been covering, you know, Terrifier 3 since the moment we got the news with it and everything. But to get into it, in Terrifier 2, we've seen this this book that Jonathan had where it was some drawings left behind with Sienna involved and Arthur Clown. And we found out that actually their dad was really involved with comics and stuff like that. So I want to kind of talk about what we can expect a little bit with Terrifier 3 just from the teaser trailer we got and everything. Now, to get into this, it's something about that comic. You know, it's something about those photos with Lauren Levera as Sienna and Arthur Clown. I think it's some connection with the father and Arthur Clown being that we found out that actually the dad was, you know, unalive due to a tumor and things like that. A tumor. But when you sit here and think about it, Arthur Clown is very powerful, man. At this point, he is a, a, a worker for Satan. He's a worker for Satan. He's being revived left and right, even from the first one. We all saw how he went out in the first one. But to get into it, he's definitely like, you know... A, a big form of supernatural and i'm pretty sure he played a part in sienna's father's death and everything i think to be honest when you sit here and think about it i, I really do think that jonathan and sienna's father was dealing with arthur clown like on the back end of things but he was just you know putting it in his drawing book and just showing sienna what he was and who they're going to be dealing with in the future and this warrior i think he just he drew the the image of a female warrior, but she just brought the costume to life. But I'm thinking he thought like my daughter's gonna be the one to take Arthur Clown out. You know what I'm saying? I think that was the whole thing about. It. I think it's a lot of lore behind. You know their family attached to Arthur Clown. I don't think it's just something like where he randomly came across the screen and now he's involved with them. But to kind of push forward, we see you know Victoria and everything in, in these photos with. Terrifier 3, and it seems that her and Arthur Clown are going to now be a duo. We know that it's an evil entity involved, especially with the Pale Girl and her. It seems to be no Pale Girl, but I definitely think that she's going to be the new Pale Girl, but she might be a little closer to Arthur Clown than the Pale Girl, you know. Pale Girl had a little bit of cameos and stuff like that, but to get into this, I've heard all types of theories out there where people think that Sienna's not going to make it, she's going to be unalive and stuff like that, but to be honest, Arthur Clown is one slasher I do not know how to take him out. It seems that he's like, he's infinite. You, you can't take him out because he just keeps on coming. No diddy. <laughs> but when you sit here and think about it, I really think that when you really look at arthur clown he's different from michael myers he's different from jason he's different from freddy krueger well freddy krueger and him still have some like commons and you know common but when you sit here and think about it, i think that with terrifier 3 we're going to get a little bit more backstory on arthur clown nothing that is going to be too you know deep where it's like it ruins his character the mythology of him and stuff like that i think it's going to be something that just gives us a understanding even though we don't need an understanding like maybe i maybe i'm wrong and wrong maybe it's just going to be something where we just find out a little bit of the connection with arthur clown and sienna's family in the past and stuff like that maybe it's just nothing nothing explained with him for real maybe it's just he's out there i remember when i first watched terrifier the first one i thought art was just like michael for real for he was like a human in a get up and he was just you know walking around taking people out but it was kind of a surprise how we seen him you know kind of reveal himself through the franchise now we know that jonathan's going to be in college and everything and you know he's going to be bunkies with a guy named cole and mia we kind of seen that with the shower scene was going on with that with the hat tip to Scarface and, you know, with the chainsaw. So that's probably going to be one of the most brutal scenes in the Terrifier franchise. I think it might. Look, one thing about, you know, just the Terrifier crew, especially Damien, he's going to top that previous, you know, unalived moment. He's going to definitely top that just because, you know, that's what he does. You know, he got a bigger budget now and things like that. So I can definitely say this be one of the most brutal scenes in horror, not just in the franchise, but in horror. To the point we see the after results of this motherfucker just real life, just making an angel in their remains, bro. So that's very crazy. But I think that this ending is going to be very, you know, legendary, if that makes sense. I think this is going to really kind of explain things and kind of give us an understanding of Arthur Clown without saying it. I don't know if he's going to, you know, continue to keep on pushing or it's going to just be a cemented ending. I, you know, I think I want to say they brought up some stuff with Terrifier 4. I think, I think they said he just had ideas of it, but nothing's confirmed with that. Just speculation because I don't I can't remember too much. But I'm going to say this. I really do think this one we're going to get a lot of, you know, 
details when it comes to Arthur Clarence. I, I feel like in the previous ones, he just dropped out the sky for real, for real. And they left off on a crazy note with him, you know, being in an asylum, like basically being rebirthed from Victoria. So people are kind of scratching their head, like, so what's going on, you know? Um, from my understanding, it just seeming like it's an evil entity with mixed with supernatural and he can just keep reviving himself. And I think that you got to have a, it almost seemed like you had to have a piece of art still left, like a shell, almost similar to how Michael was. You remember how Dr. Luma said, you know, make sure nothing's left, take away vital organs. It's almost seeming that you have to completely erase art to nothing. But you know what's crazy? Well, Michael, I kind of feel like real life, like that's cemented, he's not coming back. But even I feel like if you do something like that with Arthur Clown, you still have a chance that this motherfucker might turn around the corner and, you know, hit a smile on your ass just because he's just that type of slasher bro and, and pushing forward we do know this is a christmas slasher and things like that we see that at a point arthur clown gets this santa costume you know you know that um danny roebuck is playing santa but i think it's going to be basically a, a twist i think it's going to be two santas and danny roebuck or it's another guy I came from i can't remember his name but he's on imdb unless they just decided to go with daniel roebuck over him i don't know but it might be two santas but who knows we've seen that jason patrick is, patrick is in it i'm still putting my money down at that sienna and jonathan's father but i want to talk about this also we've seen in terrifier 2 that jonathan was low-key obsessed with arthur clown and just the lore and stuff he had newspaper articles about him. he had a costume made um it could go either left or right with jonathan i want to know if is it is it going to be like where he's even more obsessed after he's dealt with him or is he going to let him let him go completely and just know that he's their boogeyman or whatever but i feel like when you sit here and think about it it might go the way where jonathan gets even more obsessed with arthur clown just because he had dealt with him hands-on and he's kind of curious about what happened to the other people before him like especially the events in terrifier one now he's a part of the events and, and things like that so maybe that's what we get like jonathan ends up digging deep on arthur clown and we find out something if that makes sense something some type of you know back story with what happened with the events it connects to something knowing what they're dealing with i think that's the whole thing people just want to know what they're dealing with but like i said you don't have to touch on it because arthur clown is just that type of slasher but to just end off with everything now that I feel like Sienna, she got her feet wet basically in Terrifier 2 as a final girl. And I love Sienna as a final girl. But I think in Terrifier 3, from what we've seen with the trailer, she's definitely dealing with that trauma. She's living with her aunt, you know, and Greg. And, you know, she's lost her mom and shit like that. So I'm pretty sure they're going to touch on things like that, you know. And I think that Arthur Clown, when he comes back, it's going to be different from Terrifier 2 just because now Sienna's prepared. I think, you know, um, he's still out there type of thing. You know how Laurie Stroll was. He's still out there. I feel it. I see him still. I think we're going to probably get some hallucination scenes with Sienna and Jonathan off them being so traumatized. I think that it's going to be a lot of things where, you know, maybe they're just trying to make sure everyone's happy for the holidays. They know that Jonathan and Sienna's dealing with the loss of their parents and they're trying to make the holidays right for them. But Arthur Clown comes. We see him, you know, in these ad and everything throughout the teaser trailer and these photos almost like is that the is he living in the you know attic of sienna's new home with jonathan he's kind of just living up there or is this like a home that you know arthur clown is connected to is this sienna's childhood home it can be a lot of things it could be multiple things but it's something about that attic with the web and everything behind arthur clown i definitely think we want to we're not going to just keep seeing art by himself i definitely see him being next to victoria a lot through this because damien already said she's going to be damn to her own villain in this and um i'm not gonna lie it's gonna be very dangerous seeing them next to each other because it's not just one but it's two and they're both supernatural so uh that's gonna be very crazy and i can't wait to see how terrifier 3 ends man i think this could potentially be one of the best out of the franchise and everything uh, i think just with the budget and everything we just seen i feel like you know that will just give us a great movie just because they deserve that budget man like they definitely gives up give us good stories and stuff when it comes to the terrifier franchise but overall um one other thing i won't be surprised if jonathan gets took out but i can be wrong i don't see both siblings surviving but comment down below what you guys think will happen to terrifier 3 and what you want to see unfortunately this is the end of the video i want you all to hit me up on all my social medias that i like scary i will see y'all in the next one i want you to watch some horror movies stay scary out there Peace.